If a sports watch and a high-end watch had a baby, well, this would be it. When we collect watches, there's always a compromise, especially this price point. You either have a rugged daily watch or a watch with a nice looking movement inside. Hitting that sweet spot of both is not often possible. Matter of fact, I can't name many watches in the sub $10,000 category that I would on one hand dive with, as well as brag to my friends about the architecture of the movement. Today, I'm gonna show you this. A new watch with a nice fusion of both worlds. The Atelier Holgur Frömann. Atelier Holgur is a new brand which I'm excited to share with you today. If you're looking to buy your next sports watch or you are on a decade-long waiting list to get you know which brand, I think this is a great alternative. The front side is calm and collected, whereas the back has a crazier side to it. The brand is built on passion, adventure and above all, love for watches. In a nutshell, you can go diving with this watch, but also afterwards grab a nice drink and admire the custom-made movement created by the skillful watchmakers of Schwarz Etienne. The founders behind the brand are Asbjorn, Simon and Anderson and Matthew D. Baker, two cool dudes which I had the pleasure to chat with. And I even saw Matt in Zurich when he showed us the watch. Just from talking to them, I got a feeling that they really poured their heart and soul into this watch. I always love to buy watches from people instead of just buying it from a big corporation where I don't even know who made the watch nor have a personal connection to the team behind. It just feels better. It's a cool combination of Matt's passion for watches and design as well as Asbjorn's watchmaking heritage. The brand actually pays homage to Asbjorn's grandfather, which I think is very noble. The name Frömann is a Danish word and it stands for Frogman. The watch celebrates the legendary military divers of the past while also keeping in mind the watch enthusiasts of today. The idea is to be able to strap this watch on for your daily work life as well as your adventures after work. What they also execute very nicely is the legibility of the watch. There are no unnecessary design elements, no weirdly shaped hands or color schemes. A simple black and white dial with big hands and well-proportioned indexes to read the time. The black dial has a subtle circular snail finish at certain angles even sunburst. The dial has these two horizontal lines in the middle, which in my opinion kind of brings your eyes to the middle of the watch, improving legibility. The hour and minute hand are semi-skeletonized and actually feature a 3D block of superluminova on them. The inserted superluminova can also be found on a small seconds hand on the sub dial at 6 o'clock. I love the three-dimensional aspect of it and it gives you something more to discover. It doesn't only serve a design purpose though. It enhances the power of the loom this watch has plenty of. When you dive deep into the dark abyss of the vast ocean or just drive into a tunnel with your car on your way to work, you will see what I mean. All the hands, indexes and even the bezel are luminous. I think the addition of the loom on the bezel is great and was kinda unexpected when I first saw the watch. The black DLC coated bezel is unidirectional, has a smooth clicking sound to it and features a count up scale which is needed for timing dives. The scale is slightly sunken into the bezel adding a bit of depth. The great 5 titanium case features polished lux from the front, is very light, has sharp angles and a bead blasted matte middle part. There are no traditional lugs on this watch, instead they designed a unique system to hook your strap into the case directly. You simply have to unhook this button here on the top of the strap and pull it out. You do that on both sides and voila, you're ready to change the strap. Or also just wash your watch if you just came from the ocean. To put it back on, it's very simple. Just slide it in and press down on the button to secure the strap. There's also a screw down crown for extra water resistance and security once you dive in the case also features crown guards. These are good for various reasons, especially for all you clumsy folks out there hitting the watch into door frames. Turn the watch around and you jump into the other realm of the watch industry, the realm of cool movements. Powering this tool watch is a Schwarz Etienne movement customized for Atelier Holgo directly here in Switzerland. The whole movement consists of 198 single parts and boasts a power reserve of 86 hours. The heart of the watch beats at 3 Hz or 21,600 vibrations per hour. What you also notice is that it's an automatic, featuring a micro rotor with a sunburst finish and the brand's name engraved on lacquered on top of it. The winding barrel is also skeletonized to feature the logo and has a nice sunburst finish. The bridges are tastefully skeletonized, just the right amount. All the screws are mirror polished and also sit in polished sinks. Seeing this amount of high-end watchmaking in a diver's watch is really refreshing and I bet many will follow. The whole movement is beat blasted from the bridges to the base plate which with the contrast of the rubies and other components really work well. 
As you can see on the case spec, the watch right here is a prototype. So be sure that the final production models will go under an even heavier quality inspection. If you saw something you dislike on the watch, just send the guys from Atelier Holger an email or Instagram DM. I'm sure they will love to answer all your burning questions. I put all their social media channels on the website in the video description so you don't have to search for it. The watch comes with two straps made from recycled ocean plastic produced by tight ocean material. The first strap is fitted with a hook and loop fastener and pin system and the second strap is a single loop diving strap in teal color. As the two founders deeply care about conservation, in particular marine life, they are in the middle of negotiations with a few carefully selected partners to fund initiatives to help protect our oceans and the various forms of life that inhabit our seas. The first batch of these watches in the configuration you see in my video is a limited release of only 100 pieces. These will be engraved with the first 100. That's going to be visible on the case pack to commemorate the early supporters. The best for last, the price of this beauty is 8,850 Swiss francs excluding tax and delivery will start in the first quarter of 2023. At this price point I think they made everything right, from the readable dial all the way to the well finished movement. Let me know what you think about this watch in the comments below, I know Matt and Asburn would also love to hear your feedback. Make sure to check them out, subscribe if you haven't already and as always, I'll see you next week.